Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We're going to look into this uh, Vinny Hacker versus Deji fight. Great fight. Both fighters fought their hearts out. Great ref. No complaints there. Oh man. It's just Deji got, got gassed. He was not in this, the shape we thought he would be in. He came into this fight. like He gained a whole bunch of weight. Then he lost a whole bunch of weight. Then he gained some back. In preparation, in preparation for this fight, excuse me. Just nothing. It was nothing like the Jake Paul fight. He he was a little bigger. He lost a lot of weight for that. He, he just still wasn't quite there. But he was in better shape than this fight. I think we'll see a Benny Hacker versus Jake Paul fight in the future. I don't think we'll see another Jake Paul versus Deji fight, but who knows? Who knows? Anything can happen, right? Especially in this YouTube boxer world or entertainment world. I shouldn't say YouTube boxer because that's diminishing boxing. It's just boxing, whether YouTuber or not. You got to fight your heart out. You got to work really hard to get where you're at. And, yeah. Don't count them guys out. Them guys work their, you know, they worked hard to get where they're at. Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Those guys worked really hard. Not Austin McBroom so much. Uh... I'll leave him out of this, though. You've seen other videos. Check those other videos out on my channel if you want. And as always, develop your own opinions. Form your own opinions. This is just my opinion. You don't have to take my opinion as fact for sure. Just my opinion. I encourage you to, you know, look into that more. Find out all the information you can. And form your own opinion. That's what we're here for. We're not here to cancel each other just because we don't agree with somebody or try and hurt somebody or worse, you know, just because we don't agree with that, agree with them or like them, you know. But let's get into this fight real quick. Let's see what happened here. I do not like the standing eight. I don't agree with it. I think Deji looked fine. If his knees were wobbly, if his, if his head was too, you know, bobbly, then I would agree with the standing eight, but I do not agree with that right there. I don't. Great ref, though. He just, he was trying to be safe. He was trying to, you know, protect the fighters. That's his job. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, I wish he would have let that go. And if something else was happening, then do it. But you don't see it on here. And that's why I tell you to, to develop your own opinions and look at look into your own, do your own research, you know. Uh, because before this, before this happened, Deji's legs were, were wobbling. And... He was looking real bad, like he was about to black out and just fall on his face. So, I assume that is why the ref did this. I don't know for a fact, but I, I'm just, you know, guessing. Developing that ob observation about it. Alright, let's see. Other way. Deji seems like he's almost quitting. Mid no, nobody expected this. Nobody expected Please shut up, Van Zandt. Stick to fighting. Please don't ever be a commentator again. Oh, I'm sorry for saying shut up, but that got on my last nerve. He does not look like he's quitting. He looks like he's trying to survive because he's out of shape. Like he's trying to keep up his stamina as best as he can. 
he is working his heart out out there. I know you have little, you know, lines written down for you to say. And they always like to make the lady look more annoying for whatever stupid reason in the fight world. I don't know why they do that, but. <sighs> she, I'm sure she's not an, an, an annoying human being. I'm sure she's great, and I know she's a great fighter. I know she is. Not to diminish her at all, but I don't like what she said there. I think it's just playing into their narrative. Throughout all these fights, they had their little, well, the, the later fights, the more, you know, popular fights, they had their little commentary narrative, you know, set in stone that this is the guy they want to win, this is the guy they don't want to win. But in this case, it flip-flopped. The one uh, TikToker fight, I'm sorry, the one YouTuber versus TikToker fight that the TikToker won over the YouTuber. All the YouTubers won except in this fight. Much respect. All right, let's end this out. Let's see. Doesn't seem like he can take getting oh my punched. Gosh. And now Vinny Hacker. He oh. can smell the finish. Oh. He can oh. oh my God. It's the over. Finally. And there you go. We'll end on the ref hugging Deji. But we'll we'll listen to what the ref says because it's special. It's very nice. But it's just a beautiful. Side right there. And they pick Vinny Hacker up. Beautiful win. And the dude putting his buddy or one of his side guys puts him on the shoulders. Let's see what the ref says. TikTok on the board. The winner here, Vinny Hacker. You laid your heart out there. You fought your hardest. I believe it's something along those lines. Now here's Jeff Whittick. We're going to do a video on him in our next video coming soon, but, and why I don't agree with them, the rough stuff. Go through a little few rough things. It's going to be a short video, but hey, it's all good. So there you have it. Vinny Hacker's the winner. Great fight. All right, that's going to do it. Try keeping, keep it. Peaceful and nice in the comments if you can. You know, don't be mean to me, please. I'm tired of all these mean comments. Just let it, you know, let your opinions flow. It's okay to have your own opinion. And it's okay to disagree with me or anyone else. It's just just don't go, take it too far, that's all. Just peacefully and respectfully disagree, that's all. Try and be as adult as you can about it, if you, if you can. I know it's hard for some people, I understand. But try, please. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all have a good one.